give it another minute to see if we've got any else joining in. for real, not virtual, tonight at Witten um, at quarter past six, if anyone fancies doing that. As I said earlier, it's, it means that I can actually correct your technique and things if I can actually see you in person. And then we've got a hit at quarter, at quarter past seven. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then tomorrow morning, we've got 10 o'clock, we've got our um, hit and four o'clock we have got uh, legs, bumps and tums all on here tomorrow, okay? If you haven't done Pilates before, don't worry. It's all floor based. Once we've done kind of the standing position and done a little bit of mobility, then we get you down on the floor and then you stay on the floor for all the exercises. Now only work where you feel comfortable. If you've not done it before, level one is your beginner level, okay? And it is okay, even if you're experienced at Pilates, it is okay to stay at level one throughout. It might be that you've been doing it for five years, but you've got a spine injury. So you might need to keep it at a lower level. There's no pressure whatsoever to push yourself onto higher levels, all right? So just work to where you feel comfortable. But I am gonna give you those options as we go along, okay? Um, so if you have got knee problems or back problems, things like that, Listen to the modifications, just do what's comfortable for you. With movements, remember only to where you feel comfortable. And also remember, everyone just remember that you can rest at any time, okay? So if your body begins to shake or wobble or you feel uncomfortable, take a little rest and then just join back in when you're ready. Okay, so, standing position. Nice and upright, toes and knees point forwards, shoulders down relaxed, Make sure you're balanced and central. It's gonna gently rock forwards, back, and side to side. Making sure you've got that even distribution of body weight across both of your feet. Finding that neutral spine, tilting the pelvis forwards and backwards. Finding the position where your back feels the most comfortable. Finding that natural lordotic curve. Then I want you to find, just setting my watch. So I always forget to set my watch before I start. Um, then we want you to find and engage your core muscles, so your pelvic floor, the muscle from within, the one you'd use to stop mid-flow. Now imagine that that muscle is attached to a lift, and you're going to pull it all the way up from inside to floor number 10. You're going to lower it down to floor number 5, and then down to floor number 3, and leave it there. Then imagine you've got a belt around your middle with 10 notches, pull it in as tight as it can go, notch 10. Out to notch five, out to notch three, and leave it there. So you've set and engaged through your core muscles. Holding from your core and the neutral spine, we will then breathe from the rib cage, hands on the ribs, fingertips to touch. Take a deep breath in, opening through the fingers, and release. Take a breath in, and release. Good, relax those arms down. So you're just going to gently begin to pedal through side to side, raising up and alternating heel. Allow those shoulders to gently rotate one way and the other. Place the feet down, lift up onto the toes, lengthen, test your balance and release. All the way up, lift and lengthen and release. One more time, lengthen the whole body and release. Stepping out to the left, reach up and over, into the centre, and change sides. Good. Step and reach. Lengthen through the side of the body, through the waist. Engage through the core. Lateral flexion. Last one here. Coming into the centre. Feet hips distance apart, just rotate your hips in one direction and the other direction. Good. Hold it in the centre, bring the arms up, take a breath in. Keep your hips still, breathe out, rotate. Breathe in, come to the middle. 
breathe out, rotate the other way. Breathe in, come to the middle. Breathe out, rotate. Breathe in, return. Breathe out, rotate. Breathe in, return. Just going to take one more to each side, please. And then coming into the centre, release those arms down. You're going to find your balance. Just going to take one leg forward, point the toe, circle the leg round, lift the knee up and balance. Toe comes forward, circle the leg round, lift the knee, balance. Hold it, ankle one way and the other, and then place the foot down. Other leg comes forward, point the toe, circle the leg round, lift the knee and balance. Toe comes forward, circle round, lift the knee, balance, hold it here, ankle one way, and the other, and place the foot down, well done. So stand towards the back of your mat, or your towel, whatever you've got to roll down onto, breathe in, tuck the chin into your chest, breathe out, begin to roll down, you're going to soften your knees, allow the arms to hang and relax, then when you're ready, breathe in, breathe out, begin to roll back up, rebuild your spine, vertebrae, vertebrae, vertebrae to the top, as you reach the top, relax the shoulders, reset your posture, breathe in, chin to the chest, breathe out, gently roll down through your back, Soften the knees, allow your arms to hang and relax. And then as you breathe out, roll up through the back. Rebuild your spine vertebrae by vertebrae. And as you get to the top, relax the shoulders. So we're going to be rolling down to make our way down to the floor to stay down. Okay, so breathe in, chin to the chest. Breathe out, gently begin to roll down. At your lowest point, walk your hands forwards and lower your knees down. Back is nice and flat, core muscles zipped up, pulled in and in place. Breathe in. As you breathe out, just push one leg back. Breathe in and draw the leg back in. Other leg, breathe out, push the other leg back. Breathe in and draw that leg back in. So breathe out to lengthen, in to return. So we're going to add on to this in a moment. Breathe out to lengthen, good. Now, we're going to work with just one of your legs. I'd like you to breathe out, fully extend, and then lift it up. And we work from here. Breathe in, as you breathe out, that leg comes out to the side. Breathe in to come back in. Breathe out, leg pulls out to the side. Breathe in, come back in. So the other leg stays in place. Your leg is pulling away. If you want the next option, extend the opposite hand out along the floor. Whole breath out to take it out. Whole breath in to bring it in. Next option, raise the arm. Final option, arm and leg move out. Breathe out to go out, in to come in. All just with the same leg. We won't change over until I let you know, okay? Opposite arm if you're using the arm. Of course you don't have to, you can just keep that arm down. I'm going to ask you please for one more, lower the foot as far away from as you can and then draw it back in, other leg, breathe out, fully extend and raise, in line with the body, you don't want it too high because then your back dips down, you want a nice flat spine, breathe in, breathe out, it pulls out, breathe in, it comes in. Breathe out, it moves out. Breathe in, it comes in. Back remains flat and still. As the leg pulls away from you, we're trying to make sure we're not allowing the hip to drop. 
Opposite arm can lengthen out along the floor. Opposite arm could raise. Final option, it moves. One arm goes out, opposite arm to leg. Breathe out to go away. Breathe in to return. Keeping that leg as straight as possible. Your breathing is full and deep, so the movement is slow and controlled. Hold breath out to move it out. Ow, caught my foot on the radiator. Good. Breathe out, take it out. Breathe in, breathe it in. Opposite arm can be extended or raised or moving. I'm going to ask you please for two more breaths here. Once you've completed your two, fingers and toes touch down and then slide them back in. Bring yourself into that level one leg pull. So forearms and elbows are down. Drawing up through the pelvis, breathe and hold. Look down between the wrists and strengthen through the core. Level one, knees down. Level two, knees are coming up. Hold and breathe. If you want level three, you can come right up onto those hands and toes. But make sure the body has remained in a straight line. You haven't taken your arms or your legs out any wider than your body. Good. Core muscles are zipped up, pulled in and in place. Pull the belly button up towards the ceiling and breathe. So in your leg pull, I'd like you please to complete up to three more breaths. Once you've completed your three, you can gently lower all the way down onto your front. You're going to bring your head down so your forehead will be on the floor. Arms are down by your sides. Big toes are touching. Heels are dropped out, okay? That way, you're less likely to clench your bottom or lift those legs. They've got to stay nice and still. <coughs> breathe in. As you breathe out, peel up the chest, shoulder blades back in together. Breathe in to gently release. Breathe out to lift and squeeze. Breathe in to gently release. So as you come up, your chest comes up, your arms come up, palms face the ceiling, but as you reach the top of your movement, rotate the wrist, palms face down. And then as you lower, rotate again. Breathe out, lift and squeeze, belly button drawn up. Breathe in to lower. So this is your rear deltoid squeeze. Working through the top of the back, across the shoulders. Opening up through the chest, strengthening through the core and the lumbar spine. Peeling up only as far as comfortable. Full breath out to lift up and in to gently lower. And in your rear deltoid squeeze, please complete one more. Then you're gonna release, push yourself back up, into leg pull your level. Level one knees down, level two knees up, Level three up on those hands. Hold and breathe. You should be able to feel a tightening around the center of your body. So it feels like the belly button is being pulled up through your spine towards the ceiling. So it's got that tightening right around the center of your body. Don't hold your breath. Full deep breaths from your rib cage. 
And I'm gonna ask you please, for three more breaths, up to three, two is enough. And once you've completed those, you can gently lower. You're gonna turn onto one side. You're gonna lengthen out, hips, knees, ankles, all one on top of the other, toes pulled away. Head rests down on the arm, fingers pulled away. Now, core muscles in place, breathe in. As you breathe out, raise both legs without rolling forwards or backwards. Top leg is gonna move, bottom leg is gonna move. Breathe in. As you breathe out, lift the top leg. As you breathe in, lift the bottom leg. Breathe out, lower the bottom leg. Breathe in, lower the top leg. Breathe out to lift. Breathe in to lift. Breathe out to lower. Breathe in to lower. And they're only lifting up as far as comfortable for you. If you start to bend your legs or roll your hips, make your movements smaller. When you lower, it's not all the way. It's just to where you started. Hand is there for balance. If you don't need it, take it away. Place it on the thigh. Or you can even take it over. Breathe out to lift, breathe in to lift. Breathe out to lower, breathe in to lower. Up, up, down, down. Strengthen through the core and the lumbar spine. Work down the side of the body through the waist around the hip, the outer thigh, the inner thigh. I'm gonna ask you please, up, up, down, down is one repetition. And I would like just one more please. And once you've completed that, keep those legs lifted, held and still. Point the toes away, nice long body, well done. Deep, full breath. Try and get them another inch higher if you can. And release. Give the hip a little rub if you need to. And then I'm going to ask you please to push yourself to sit. So we're going to do our roll up, but we're going to add a single leg raise with it as well. So lengthen the back, chin off the chest. Nice straight spine. I want you to breathe in and tilt, so C-shaped spine, tuck the lower tailbone under. Breathe out to lower, only as far as comfortable for you, okay? Then I want you to breathe in to start coming up. Breathe out, continue to come up, and bring one knee in towards the chest. Breathe in, start to lower, the foot goes down. Breathe out, continue. Breathe in, start the lift. Breathe out, continue, and as you reach the top, that knee has come into the chest. Breathe in until, breathe out and lower. Only go down as far as comfortable for you. Breathe in, tilt, breathe out, release. If you don't want to add the leg raise, then you don't have to. Breathe in to tilt, breathe out to lower. Breathe in, start the lift. Breathe out, continue the lift. Core muscles zipped up, pulled in, and engaged. Strengthen through the core and the lumbar spine. Always coming back, chin up off the chest. Nice and long back. With or without the knee, remember only go down as far as comfortable for you. And in your roll up, please complete two more repetitions. Once you've completed your two, I'd like you to come all the way down onto your back and lengthen out those legs. Make sure you're comfortable on your back, guys. 
Arms are down by your sides. Legs are fully extended. Shoulders down, relaxed. Breathe in. As you breathe out, lift one leg up a few inches from the floor. Toes pulled away. Breathe in, bring the toes towards you. Breathe out, push the toes away. Breathe in, pull the toes towards you. Breathe out, push the toes away. So the leg is raised and all you're doing is pointing and flexing through the foot. Next level would be to have both legs raised and moving at the same time. If you have both legs lifted, your tummy muscles got to go down and not dome upwards. But also your lower back needs to remain comfortable. If you're pushing your lower spine down and it hurts, one leg only. I'm gonna ask you for one more with this leg and then allow it to lower. Then when you're ready, other leg comes up. Breathe in, pull it in. Breathe out, push it away. Breathe in, pull it in. Breathe out, push it away. Shoulders down, relax, core muscles zipped up, pulled in. You've got that double leg option. Might be too much for you if you suffer with your lower back. Breathe and control. Breathe in, point in. Breathe out, pull out. Strengthen the core and the lumbar spine. Deep, full breaths. Good. And I'm gonna ask you please, for two more here. Once you've completed your two, one leg at a time, carefully thumbs down. And then you're gonna bend your legs and place your feet flat on the floor. Now the first thing you need to do is find that comfortable position again. Neutral spine, fingertips should be able to touch underneath the back. Hips should be parallel. Bubbler there, central and still. Breathe in, as you breathe out, lift one leg up, right angle into the hundred. Now you can stay here, absolutely fine, or you can add a pulse. Breathe in, breathe out, bring up the upper body, palms face the floor, chin off the chest, breathe in, breathe out, one, two, three, four, five. You're pushing down with the hand, you're not pulling the whole body, okay? If you want to go further, both legs can be raised. Don't let the feet and knees touch. Don't let that heel get like lazy. Right angle. Strengthen through the core and the lumbar spine. And with this one leg in place, you're going to do two more breaths, then you'll lower the upper body. If you've got both legs raised, I want you to take down the original leg. Then allow the foot to lower, and then we all bring the other leg back up. So everyone's just got that one leg raised. Shoulders are down relaxed, core muscles are in and in place. Stay here. Now the reason we start from level one every time is in case you forget something. Because there's no sense getting right up here and then going, oh my neutral spine's not in place. Because it should have been in place as soon as you lifted one leg. Core muscles in place. Stay here or add the pulse, shoulders up. Breathe in. Breathe out, one, two, three, four, five. Breathe in. Breathe out, one, two, three, four, five. Little pushes down towards the floor, a bit like you've got a small bouncy ball underneath your hand. Going further, the other leg can come up, but make sure both legs remain still and in right angles. Core muscles zipped up, pulled in and in place. you please for two more breaths one foot down upper body down then the other foot comes down 
When you're ready from here, you're gonna bring one leg back up into right angle. You're gonna bring your arms up, palms face inwards. Leg is gonna go away from you. Arms are gonna go away from you. Breathe in. Breathe out, arm and leg pull away. Breathe in to return in. Breathe out, they pull away. Breathe in, they return in. Allowing that leg to be pulled away from the body as far as comfortable. Allowing the arms to pull over. You're then getting a really nice long stretch through the center of the body. Now you can always just do the leg on its own. You can always just do the arms on their own. Breathe out, pull away. Breathe in, come in. Make sure this other knee stays absolutely still. I'm going to ask you please for two more breaths here. Then you can allow the leg to carefully lower. Breathe in. As you breathe out, other leg comes up. Breathe in. Breathe out to lengthen. Pull away. Breathe in to return. Always coming back to that right angle position. One leg moves, the other leg remains nice and still. The arms are pulling over. So you've got that lengthening right through the center of your body. Keeping this other knee absolutely still. I'm gonna ask you please, Repetitions. When you've done your two, leg comes down, arms release down. And please just give yourself a long body stretch here if you would like to. And then when you're ready, you're going to turn onto the side. You should be on your other side. Lengthen out the body, point the fingers. Point the toes, hips, knees, ankles, all one on top of the other. So from here, hand there for balance, breathe in. As you breathe out, both legs raise without rolling forwards or backwards. Hand is there for your balance. Breathe in. As you breathe out, lift your top leg, keep it straight. As you breathe in, lift your bottom leg. Breathe out, lower the bottom leg. Breathe in, lower the top leg. Hand is there for balance. If you don't need it, you can take it away. And this is where your obliques begin to work. Breathe out to lift. Breathe in to lift. Breathe out to lower. Breathe in to lower. Hand is there for balance or not. Core muscles are zipped up, pulled in and in place. Only allowing those legs to lower back to their original height, the first height we lifted to. Movements are smooth and controlled. Deep, full breaths. Breathe out to lift, breathe in to lift. Breathe out to lower, breathe in to lower. Strengthen the core, the obliques, the lumbar spine, the adductor and abductor, inner and outer thigh. Breathe out to lift, breathe in to lift. Breathe out to lower, breathe in to lower. And I'm gonna ask you for one more repetition, up, up, down, down. And then you're just gonna hold those legs lifted and still. Keep them in line with the body, keep them straight, point those toes. Keep that body nice and still. If you want to try and get those legs an extra inch or two, please do. The oblique, your waist, doing all the work. The core and your lumbar spine are still working as well. 
I'm going to ask you please, two more breaths here. Then you can allow those legs to carefully lower. Give the hip a little bit of a rub if you need to. When you're ready, you're going to bring yourself round to a box position. Come into a little cat stretch. Breathe in, round the spine, chin to the chest. Breathe out and release. Breathe in, round the spine, chin to the chest, arch the back. Breathe out and release. One last time, round that spine, cat stretch. And release. So you're going to carefully push yourself back into a crouched position. We are going to make our way to stand. Do it carefully, don't rush. If you need to hold on to something, that's fine. When you're ready, you're going to place your feet down and then carefully, in your own time, begin to roll up through the back, rebuilding your spine vertebrae by vertebrae all the way to the top. As you reach the top, relax the shoulders, head and neck raise up last. So we find ourselves back into the standing position where we started, making sure we're not lopsided or leaning. We've got that natural lordotic curve, that neutral spine. We've got those core muscles in place. We feel balanced, longer, taller, lifting up onto the toes. Can you balance? And release. A little bit of cramp in my calf. Lift up, can you balance? And release. One last time, lift up, balance and hold. Close your eyes if you can. And release, well done. So that's your Pilates online with me today. We have it online again on Friday at 10 a.m. Tomorrow at nine, we have, uh, sorry, at 10, we have our combat hit. And then at four, we have legs, bumps and tums. And hopefully I'll start to see a few of you over at Witten Sports Centre, Monday to Friday, we're there two classes every night. Tonight, we have Pilates and hit. So take care, guys. Well done. See you again soon.